Hello, YouTubers. Yo, yo. We're getting there, my friends. The stream is starting momentarily. Um, just getting the other streams up and running. And we will be off. Here we go. Let's see. So we're starting in just a few seconds. Are we? Hmm, <laughs> theory. Welcome to the studio, our virtual hey. and our real life friends. <laughs> They're all real. Yeah, I'm John. I'm Jackie. I'm real. And um, Eagle is a, away yeah. somewhere in the house. She hasn't gone far. Well, let's hope. It's hard to get too far away when you're um, stuck in a house with doors all closed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't have opposable thumbs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> this is true. Um, well, I hope everybody is doing well. Heck yeah. Let me see. Let me try to let me see. I think I I think I rolled over somewhere where I shouldn't have been. So let me try to scoot back. Let's scoot back. You know what? I think um I just re I just thought um the title for this is the wrong title. Oh, what did you put? Well, it's it's last week's title. I can't believe that I've never done that. Mm -hmm. It's a smoked coffee and stuff. So don't get too excited, guys. We don't have smoked coffee this time. All right. Unfortunately, but you know, that's and this okay. time I should say, and I will have to repeat it. The comments are working on the other stream now. I can see them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry guys so much for that. The, um, comments weren't, were coming through like Facebook was having a problem. I don't know what it was. It was user error. It's completely oh, it was my, user bad. Error. It's completely my bad. <laughs> that should have been my first slide, but no, <laughs> that should be your first thought. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it would have been right. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. No, it's, it, mm. the stream is weird because we have to share it on a watch party, and the watch party doesn't do the comments that just the regular feed does, and so and actually a lot of comments come on the regular feed, so I don't, anyway, last week I missed them, sorry, my apologies. Is I tried regular to respond feed, really quick right after I realized it. Is the regular feed, is it the art page feed? Yes. Oh, that's cool. And then I join, and then I share it to a watch party on your feed, and that, so it's like, a, I don't know, it's just a, it makes me want to drink. <laughs> well, that's 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 understandable. Speaking of drinking, um, we're 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 <laughs> planning. We're trying to put together a really like fun virtual sort of event um, for us all. And um and so I mean, just I don't know. Like we did the virtual art festival. Um, one caveat: we may be slowly losing our tiny minds a little bit with all this. And so, you know, like the idea of a virtual art festival. J Jackie was like. Let's make a festival in our backyard, and we'll, well and we'll, you know, the hardest yes. part of a festival will do it. And we did it, and it was so much fun, and it was awesome. Yeah. And we got pretty good feedback. A lot yeah, of we got like over the four hours you made us do it. Yeah, we had like fifteen. Normally, for like our streams, we have like four hundred people that watch, and then we have like anywhere from five to twenty amazing people that will get on and chat, and which yeah. is which what makes say. it for us because it's the chatting and all that. It's it's I don't know. That's the chatting is what's fun. So it is. It's so much fun. And then on the, on that, that one thing that you had that idea and i thought either this is genius or it's madness it's probably both it's probably both um we got like 1500 people you know listening and, and that's just fun so the comment about the drinking well michael mccullough has joined us and he he is yelling first he oh the first comment hey yeah <laughs> number oh, one number right one <laughs> <laughs> and tap has joined us as hello friends um and Elizabeth uh, Axel has joined us and is waving hello. And Owen has joined us and says hello, guys. Well, hey. thank you so much, guys. That's that's so great. I'm not surprised Michael's the first. He's he's yeah, an awesome guy. He's got and a sweet pool situation. I know. I, I, I want to join. I, I'm join. not very good with the social medias and stuff and things. And and uh, uh, a lot of times stuff will stream by. And I'll, I'll catch something. And I'm gonna comment. And it's gone away, and then it's gone on, and I can't get to the comment like the way my way my computer works, my computer. <laughs> and um, so. You know, so I, I sometimes I read things and I can't comment about it or I can't like it. And I'm like, oh, I want to like that dog on it. And I'll sp uh, I have spent like 30 minutes before trying to find something. Oh yeah. And it just you just can't find it, and I'm just yeah. or I can't find you it. You know there and, is a save for later button. I like I don't have time to like you know it's like you don't when have time I go to learn the Facebooks. 
I, well, in, in Instagram, too, that does it to me and stuff. But Facebook, for me, is the hardest. Well, Elizabeth says, listening and drinking with you. Cheers. Oh, here we go. Cheerio, guys. And, and Ron Captain has joined us and says, hi, guys. Well, hi, Ron. Man, Wait, that's... So, the point of the, this, like, the bar party, the, the art bar party, I think, secretly, was so that you could get a keg out of it. Yeah, we've got a bar in our house. And, um... <laughs> um <laughs> We decided whenever we found out that we were going to have a child, we thought, you know, <laughs> we're going to need a us. bar. <laughs> we're not going to be able to go, go to the bar anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was a logical decision. <laughs> but no, um, no, we, we, we have a dining room and, and um, a project that my dad had years ago was we built this little bar um, for an apartment that I had. It was like a four foot, you know, like a little bar. And that was so much fun. And then we moved into this house and we had the dining room and we kind of turned it into a game room. And we had that little bar in there and we put a pool table and an air hockey table thing in there. And, um, um, and then, but nobody really played it too much. Like everybody played it for a while and then suddenly it was just sort of there. It was something to walk around. And so we, we took it out and, and I thought, you know, let's move the bar and then I'll, I'll add it on the bar because that was, that's actually a space where, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not like your typical bar bar where you're thinking like, let's go do some hard drinking <laughs> and head to the bar. It's We use it kind of like a dining room table or a gathering place quite a bit. So that's yeah, where if you're working, like you'll put your computer yeah. on it and you'll work at it. It's a nice, you know, big levels of place. And um, so I added a curve to it and some more. But I really like it because it's something my dad and I, we, we worked on. So that's uh, the initial part that I've had for years and years. And we have this other part. But with the other part has a, like an actual beer tap where you can get yeah. you know um um beer on tap yeah if you if you dig around pretty deep in our videos there's some videos where we're sitting at the the bar filming different things because yeah it, it's also i mean it's an open room it's, it's a good space but yeah yeah and, um and, and that way it's the first room too when you come to our home it's the first room that you walk into and so people know what they're getting themselves into exactly no <laughs> secrets <laughs> no secrets no secrets here okay so um let me say uh barbara brands joined us says hi and howdy barbara uh, hey. uh pamela has joined us says hi john well hey there um and owen said one positive this summer is i had a commission this guy wanted me to paint an italian vigil village on a cornhole board that's pretty interesting What's um, a cornhole? Oh, a cornhole board. I yeah. got it. I got it. Wow, that's that's really cool. And, and you know, Owen, man, I've been, I've been following your art. And again, I apologize about on the social. Some, sometimes I get a chance to like her. And sometimes I don't. It scrolls and gets away from me. But um, but it's really cool, man. And I saw that you were you were painting more. Than, I, saw, I remember reading a post where you said you were painting more now than, than you had been. And um, kudos, man. That's that's awesome. That's, that's It's so cool to get... Um, this is a great time to get back, you know, to really like add extra energy into yeah. your art too. And, well, and he said the guy has another one because hence it's a cornhole board yeah. you gotta have too, and wants him to do the second one. So oh, yay. cool! What if that's gonna be an that's Italian a good way order. to get commissions. Like you know, it's a situation where there's gonna be a second. Yeah, that's that's a great <laughs> idea, man. Um, but I, I wonder like one. if the other one's gonna be Italian as well, or maybe it could be like France or Spain. It could be like a war, like war, ooh, you know, Italy nice. versus I don't know. Great ooh, Britain. That'd be cool. Well, um. Let's see. Uh, Cornelio. <laughs> that's all I can think of. That's where my culture leads me. Tiffany Marie has joined us as good evening, John and Jackie. Well, good evening. Uh, Michael McCullough says hearts. Brian uh, Kacharska jo joined us and said, I agree, I'm pretty amazing. Oh, Brian? Yeah. Hey, Brian. I'm assuming he's referring to something earlier. <laughs> um, and then Michael, oh, Michael says, uh, I'm working on a huge international ADA WCAG 2.0 project for a website. Do I know? Okay. Can you say that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he's working on a, a, an international ADA. Who's doing this? Michael. Oh, okay. Okay. So I assume, like, okay, for, and you know. I saw the letters, it completely, uh, yeah. I was like. <laughs> well, so this is the 30th anniversary of the ADA. Yes, yes. Okay, so you're, you've got a thing actually in the next two days that you're doing. Yeah, the tomorrow. Um, yeah. Which is crazy, because it's just crazy. And, uh, but, that's pretty cool. He, yeah, what's, you know, so I what's, mean, I don't know the specifics, but he's, it, he's, it's just, he says an ADA 2.0 project for a web, website. So. Man, that's really cool. That's, that's so cool. Man, you know, yeah. you know, and, and, and Michael too. I was wondering because we're we're thinking about doing this virtual art bar thing, and um, whenever I think of music or anything like that, I would I would always always think about you because it's you, you know you you write such cool stuff and and different things. But 
one of the things that we thought of, and, and I'm not I'm not trying to put you on the spot at all at all for this, but it, whenever I think of music, you're one of the people I think of. But one of the things that um, we were going to do at the virtual art bar is like show art and stuff, of course. Um, I don't, you know, have it's like it's weird. Zoom in and do music. Yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah, it'd be yeah. cool to, yeah, either have somebody come over live and do music that we could record, mm -hmm. you know, um, or they could zoom in and do it, or if they have something that we could play during it, you know, yeah. but, but yeah, but we wanted to incorporate live music. The hard part, of course, is that um, Facebook will slam down hard if it's anything that's um, copywritten. So, you know, it really needs to be like original sort of, I think, I, I don't know, like, I, I, I don't know, I don't want to get on their bad side. But, you know, <laughs> right, right, and right. YouTube as well. We stream over there, but you know, you see these like these DJs and stuff, and they'll put their sets on YouTube and they'll stream on Facebook. Yeah, I'm not they don't get dinged. And me, like I, I was playing, um, like the, there was some weird jazz song in the background of one video that I was doing, and, and it was just sort of in the background. You couldn't even hear. I think I had a power saw going at the time or something, and, and it was like ding removed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what I don't the know. Heck? maybe he has some input on that. <laughs> well, um. So let me say, um, uh, okay, so Owen said, I've been dealing with some major anxiety disorder due to what's been going on, so I dealt with it through my artwork. Thanks, man. That's cool. Um, and he said it's for him and his wife, uh, Greece, based on, on photos of his his wife took on a trip. Oh, so nice. Greece, cool. okay. Um, and Barbara Brand says, I wanted to let you know my website is back and better than ever. Woot! And you are featured there in a few images. Ooh, oh man, fancy! Well, You're hey, check that out. Yeah, if you, hey Barbara, if you wanna, if you wanna share the link like on the comments or something, that is, that 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 would be awesome. Yeah. And um and, and just a note, guys, about about Bar Barbara. She's just, and I'm not just saying this because she's here, but she is just one of the nicest people. But she's just an incredible photographer and one of the most active photographers that i know <laughs> like she's she is always she definitely busy gets out you know more than anybody i know yeah and and she's she's a fun person to follow on so, social media too and um and it seems like you go every week or almost every week to to to, to revelers hall um which is a place in 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 D deep ellum and it's so cool because it's like new orleans based um jazz so like if you know if you go to to, to New Orleans you'll see like the pro, the pro, preservation hall like or preservation street hall band and all, or I I'm, yeah. I'm mastering their name but all these different you know sort of halls and but the Revelers Hall is um in Dallas and it's so cool their yeah. music well she shared her her website oh brilliant cool cool, cool. um and uh. oh and Owen said uh da, 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 um the NFB National Convention the uh, Fe National Federation for the Blind um, is in Houston, but it was canceled, so they're going virtual. So oh. that's well, at least they're doing it virtually. Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's cool. Yeah, it's always I, a shame when you can't all get together. So much stuff is, is is virtual now. I've done so many conferences and different things uh, um, virtually instead of being there. Yeah. I wonder if it'll. Do you think it'll ever get back to? It'll get back to normal. Like as soon as they have a. I mean, yeah, it'll eventually. It yeah. Just might, might be a while. Okay, so Azure Muse has joined us and says, "I love the old '70s basement with the bar kind of thing. It was fun finding them in friends' houses when I was a kid." <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, we did. I didn't grow up in a place that had basements, but there were definitely like retro drink stands, like the. But we never. I never had that when I was a kid. I never saw it. Well, really. my. I mean, I yeah. My parents definitely had like the whole. I don't know that I don't know how you what you would call that, but like anyway. a shelf or a, or a cabinet or a yeah, but it was it, it was it had that like seventies vibe, you know. It was mm. it was clearly like they liked to party. <laughs> my dad my dad had a single bottle of wild turkey that probably lasted him like ten years. Oh my gosh, that was and then, not my family. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's changed. It's funny. Um, whenever I I was eighteen or whatever and left the house, it it, it I, I I honestly can't remember when I left the house. I don't know if it was eighteen or nineteen. But um, but um, they they quit smoking and then they started drinking. It was like the party lifestyle. Like they 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 smoked all the way up until then. I guess I'm I guess they must have had a little bit of stress. Yeah. Having a kid in the house and then a bit. I left and they 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 stopped that and then um, but yeah and they and they have like a little bar set up now everywhere. Well, Michael says um, speaking of the ADA, just for anybody that doesn't know, it's the American Disabilities Act. Um, and for him, for him, he's doing it. It's a compliance <coughs> thing for the website that he's working on. Oh, that's cool. Um, 
So, and then he said, definitely put me on the spot, John Blush. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, awesome, man. That that would be fun. You know what would be fun is to, uh, is to is to have him, Paulette, like come over and hang out for a bit and tape something. Oh, you know? yeah. Like it would be fun to do it live, too. Like, you know, with with the social dis- distancing, though, it's, it's kind of a thing because you never know. I mean, I, I don't know. It's like it's like there's hard and fast rules in a way, but then there's also not because they say, well, you need to be six feet apart, or if you are with a group, like the group shouldn't be more bigger than this, you know, yeah. this size. And then if it is, you know, I, I don't know. So and then like you can't go to a restaurant, but the restaurant has to be less than half. And yeah. So I mean, it's you know, it's like what number or what proximity is it okay? I'm a big hugger. So whenever I meet people, which um, which isn't as often anymore, you know, because we're all doing this, the social distancing, but it's always awkward, you know. So it's like, you know, you, yeah, you bump elbows, weird. you just wave. Like like we did a business meeting for a, a mural, and um, they were just you're, like, yeah, hi. You, <laughs> you're, yeah, like, you're, like, you're standing, you're standing hands, just right in the same room, and you're like, hi, it's good to meet you. Yeah, and then you have to explain <laughs> that you're not going to shake. And then you're like, I want to, but it's weird. Yeah. Everything that's like this weird, awkward moment. I'm a hugger. Yeah, of course, I, of course I'm I'm as awkward as always. So I'm like, I'm a, you know, I'm a yeah. hugger. So, you know, air hugs. <laughs> Well, Valerie um, Alcaraz, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, she joined us and says, Hi, I'm interested in exploring painting more. I'm totally blind and have done more, mm. one painting that I'm proud of and enjoying painting because it's both visual and tactile. Well, congratulations, man, and thank you so much. You know, so, so that means there's three non-visual visual artists on the stream yeah. right now. Uh, well, and she Owen and... Asked, yeah, and she asked, Have you done any virtual art classes before? I'd like to compare notes with other artists who are blind. I have more experience with ceramics than painting, and I've also done some drawing. Man, that's really brilliant. That's so cool. So you don't, you haven't, we, you haven't done any workshops that are just available on our video feeds. Usually, you've gotten hired out by, you know, like Texas Workforce Commission or something like that, which is one you're doing on the 24th. But saying that, I think you were going to try to record it and then upload it as a possibility for people out there, like a sensory workshop. Yeah, and, and one of the things with, with, with the Patreon, too, is that when we started it, the idea was to start a, um, a workshop thing. We also have on Facebook the Drastic Art Measures um, art group sort yeah. of thing. So, yeah, yeah. You know, idea so we could get people, you know, I mean, like, and in the, in the thing with it with the Patreon is that I don't want people, I don't want anybody to feel like they need to pay us for this or anything like that at all, but... It makes a nice little spot where people who are interested can go and it's, you can get people together. That's been hard to put together. Like, I don't think I'm doing it right yeah, or it's, yeah. I'm not hitting the right sort of thing. Like, I, I mean, because, you know, we're willing to make it a bigger sort of um, more interactive community kind of thing. And that's sort of the yeah. hard thing is that, you know, we want we want people that are that really want to be intera- interactive in it. Yeah. But I'm not promoting it right or doing it right. or so. I'm doing <laughs> well, something wrong with it. I mean, yeah, but. I, I would say for like workshops and stuff, you know, what I would suggest is to is to g- jump on Jurassic Art members, like the Facebook group, and then we kind of facilitate something. That's what we really need to do because a lot of people are over there that want to actually create art. Mm-hmm. So that might be something to consider. Maybe maybe what we need to do is because I'm starting to put together these workshops, you know, like you were saying for these different places and. And I've always wanted to do it, and um, and we we're actually putting together an art kit, you know, for the, this one group, um, which is really which is a lot of fun because it's taking what we've done in museums all over the country and putting it into a little mellable mem- mem- bag. Oh yeah, yeah. And um and that's gonna be really cool. Like we've never done that before. So cross your fingers. We'll see how that works, you know, because it's all gonna be v- virtual with um, around 20 children who are who are visually impaired. Yeah, well, young adults. Young adults, yes. Yeah, but you know, they're all, they're all children to me. <laughs> you're um, kiddos. Anybody you, under thirty, you a bunch of kiddos. <laughs> yeah. So, you, but you're gonna record this, right? Um, oh, I'm gonna try to. I, I I I was recording an interview that I was doing with a person the other day, and um, and I was using um, it's like a podcast or something, and I it was over Zoom, and I recorded it, but they're their part was very echoey mm. and that and that's no bueno so yeah. um my my part was really clear but um so i might be able to do it but not have you know we'll I, I don't know we'll yeah if, if not i'd like to do another one but also maybe what we should do just for one of the instead of doing a regular art night the way we do on mondays yeah. and thursdays mm-hmm. 
maybe we should put together a workshop night and just really tell people like, hey, if you really want to paint Bob Ross style, <laughs> except not Bob Ross style, but like, you know, tune in and paint like st step cool. by step, like a sip and paint sort of thing, you know, and just see if there's any interest because, yeah. um, you know. Well, if anybody out there is interested, let us know. Because all the workshops that we teach, like at schools and museums, I mean, sometimes we'll, we'll get paid to come out by, by the museum, by the school, but we don't get paid by, by people. Like, it's always free for people to do it, you know? Yeah. Unfortunately, travel's expensive, so usually, like, somebody has to bring us out, you know? And, and right now, nobody's bringing. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I've been doing a lot out, of so. uh, the virtual ones, which, which have been really nice. Yeah. Because, like, um,. Library systems or workforce, you know, systems and different things need these videos like to be able to send out to people, and they're like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Yeah. Um, so that's been nice. But. Yeah. So um, Aaron Shock joined us. Says hello, John and Jackie. Um, and uh, Azura said, "Why can't you do cover songs even?" Question mark on on like copyright with the videos. I don't know. If if it's too close, if it sound because it's just you know that's a good question, Azura. Um. And um, and it's, and it's good to hear your name, man. That's 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 awesome. Um, 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 but if it's too close, you can get dinged for it too. So if the music, you know, the music and all that, like the little, it just it just depends on yeah. the the little robot that's listening at that particular time, I guess, or something. Well, um, I don't know. I've I've heard that you have to be really careful with that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the rules. I don't know. Maybe Michael knows the rules. I yeah, know. maybe. And I, I've tried um, to find out, but I, I just. I don't know. It, it, it's always a gray, a gray area. And, and generally, all the articles I've read says if you're in doubt, don't, you know, it, it may get pulled. Which, I, yeah. you know, we don't make any money off our videos. Like, you know, you, YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, obviously. Like, we're not, you know. We you just know. like to be in front of the camera. Yeah, we just, we just, we, we're just, we just like chatting. And we like, you know, this is, this is a lot of fun. And, um, you know, so, um, so if it got pulled, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's just, it'd be nice if it didn't. Yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, Kylie Sykes says, hello, hello. Well, hey, welcome uh, back. Kim Tyler says, hello. Hey, Kim. And, um, so, okay. Oh, and let me say really fast, uh, Barbara said, by the way, if anyone here is interested in visiting my website, there's a link there, uh, which she shared in the comments. Um, and then there's a link to the Instagram that has about a hundred more images so you can check out her stuff. So that's really Oh cool. yeah. Um, and that's worth doing, man. Uh, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Her stuff's, oh, and Revelers Hall is in Bishop Arts District, which is right next to Dallas. So yeah. Called, yeah. Sort of Dallas County or whatever. Isn't, um, it, isn't Bishop Arts in Dallas? Well, I think it's in the county, but it's, there's Dallas, like the city, kind of like there's Denton County, but there's Denton, the city oh. limits. Huh. I don't know. I thought it was like Deep Ellum. It was just one a part of. I don't know, man. This place is. I don't know. I mean, because. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. Michael says, uh, find a friend that will make jingles for you or open source music. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one thing. We're, we're, we're going to have to film some videos tomorrow, the next day, I think. And, um, and. One of it is a music segment for it's not something that's going out on Facebook or YouTube, but but I'm going to use open source, you know. The whole, but some of that's pretty cool though. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't you tell us like a bit more about because you've made some progress on this painting. I have here. Let me let's pop over here, guys. Um, <coughs> ta-da! <laughs> um, so right. this is the palace painting that I've been working on, and don't judge it too harshly. Or go ahead, it's okay. Um, you want you want to hurt my feelers too bad. So let me let me show that, and then and then I'll I'll um and then we'll put us back on. So you won't you won't feel lo lonely. <laughs> we're, we're we're still here. We didn't go anywhere. <laughs> no, but on this painting, um, I, I'm I knew this painting would, would would take a little while, but it's because I wanted to try some some different things. Every time I do a painting, I try to check. Well, almost every time, I try to challenge myself in some way and try something new and a little bit different. So on this one, it's a little bit of the perspective because I've never done a perspective quite like this, and um, so I wanted to give it a try. Now, what you see up here are going to be trees. It's just a cacophony of color right now, so it's just a bunch of colors. If you're visually impaired, what you're seeing or not seeing is a bunch of um, candy reds, fluorescent reds, dark reds. Um, oranges, fluorescent oranges, yellows, deep yellow, lemon yellow, some greens, light greens, and medium greens, and they're all kind of swirling. There's also some cerulean blue and titanium white that's mixed in through it all, um, creating a bunch of different 
shifts in tint. But this is just the background of this. So, so what's going to go over this are just going to be some limbs and um, and then, well, let's see, like the, the tree trunks, the limbs, and a little bit more de definition. Then I'll go back over and put put a whole nother layer of, of, of foliage over that. So that'll give it a lot of depth and it'll make it look fuller. So right now you just see one layer out of several layers. Well, actually, this is actually, this is actually three layers, believe it or not. In some areas, it's four layers. <laughs> but there's going to be many, many more layers added onto it. But that, that gives it a depth. Um, if you ever do this yourself, one problem that most people have when they try to do layers like this is that they'll end up muddying the paint. Um, one thing you need to do is either be patient or get fast drying paint. Because um, <laughs> if, you, if you're not patient, the, um, the paints will start to muddy into each other. Um, you need to clean your brush quite a bit. And also um, applying, applying white and light colors and then putting dark colors over it, it'll help keep the, the colors pretty bright. So if there's some areas where I know that I'm going to put in, be putting some light colors in, I'll make sure to rework those areas with some titanium white. And then whatever color goes over that, even though you won't see the white, it'll actually make that color brighter. Ooh. Also, you know, um, using like reds and greens together, they'll, they'll make them each pop. You know, you, using com complementary colors like that. So so if you see like like yellow, like 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 what, what we have right here, and then right next to it, um, you, you you can almost bet you can almost bet see there's purple and then there's more purple so there's all this so so you're going to be able to find that and then like let me see um this this should be red right going through here so next to that you're going to find greens and there's going to be greens going down and what that's going to do is is create um it's going to make the greens look a lot brighter and the reds look a lot brighter i think that's insane you've like memorized where those are Oh I well, know that once they dry, they kind of all feel the same. No, they do. They do all feel, feel the same, but the, it ends right here. So, so this is the end, like of the of where it's going to be. Yeah. The final finish is going to be. A, it's it's not it's not going to be as perfect as this because this just goes down. It's so perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like oh, it's little blobs. Like, yeah, every little blob's the same. So you want to variegate it because right. because nature isn't perfect like that. You know, it's not like a Dr. Seuss. But in it though, um, there's there's a little spectrum of colors that are going through. So there, there's going to be more green on the outside. There's going to be more yellow kind of going through. Then it's going to switch to oranges and reds. And, and so it's, it's, it's kind of got a pattern that's going to be going through and, and a lightness and the darkness. So when it's done, over here is going to be very, very dark. And, um, and then, or darker, the darkest little areas. And then it's going to get lighter where the lamp is. So what uh, time of day is it? It is, like, it is twilight. So right now it looks like a nice blue sort of sky, and I'm wondering about if I should leave that or not, or if I should change it. I mean, I'll definitely change it up some, you know. But um, you know, you know, when you're in the hills and the mountains, it'll get darker um, depending on where where you are. Yeah. So it could actually start getting, you know, if the sun actually sets, let's say, like right now where we are, the sun's setting at 8:30, which sounds ridiculously late, but the yeah. sun's setting really late. But if you lived in the mountains, it might be setting at 6:30. You know, because you get a shadow from the hills and things. So it could be a nice blue sky here, and then it's starting to be twilight down in the in the valley. Yeah, I was because it almost looks like <clears throat> the palace ha is, like, lit. I know in photos it looks mm -hmm. like it's lit from below and up because you're, you're looking up at it. Yeah, yeah, you shared some photos with me. There was some that, that I, I had downloaded about that the, this palace. And I was using the software and I liked it, but it was, you know, it was cool. And then you sent me some um, where the contrast was much higher. And with yeah. the software, it like, it really zinged. Like it was nice. Like there's lots of blacks in the yeah. photo because on my software, when there's blacks, it makes a, um, it, it's much better, you know, like, so if the contrast is nice. So and I thought, Ooh, that sounds pretty. I like it. Hmm. And you need to make the blacks black and the whites white. They're going to be good. Go. So, you know, well, the reds. I always say that because in, if, if I can make the blacks true and, you know, in really, really dark, like pure black, and if I can make the whites, like they have some white in it, this purely white, I feel like that probably helps people's eyes um, adjust. And then that makes the colors even brighter because you get that. It's almost like with a camera, I think, where you, you, hear, you hear like the filmmakers and they'll, and they'll, and they'll adjust for white. Like, yeah. like they'll adjust their camera for white because once, once that, when, once the camera knows what's white, Everything else it, um, becomes correct. So that's what I think with a painting. If I can have true white and true black, the eye or the brain probably. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if that's true. That's totally something Let's I just came up with. with. I don't know if that's an Works actual for me. thing. <laughs>
<laughs> but you know, if I say it with confidence, it makes it right. Isn't that, isn't that true? Yeah. <laughs> I think that works. Um, well, Michael said, uh, you can use any of mine, speaking of the music, for the copyrights. So oh, man. Really well, that, nice. Thank you so much, Michael. That's man, awesome. um, man, if we did that... It'd be so cool to have you on via Zoom. Yeah. It'd be really yeah. cool to have you over. When we, we miss seeing you guys. But Telling you Art Bar Party. What's up? Art Bar Party, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We've got, um, you know, the full bar plus 15 gallons of brewskis. <laughs> well, Owen said, um, have you ever heard of TikTok? You'd be surprised how many painters and artists are on that app. <clears throat> yes, have heard of it. I've, I've, you know, you get sucked into that app. Like, you just watch videos and swipe I'm, and watch videos and I don't, swipe forever and ever and ever. I hear it, you know, but it's, it's just like little snippets of songs for me, you know? Yeah, that's true. And I can't, I don't think, I, I don't think I'm a very good lip syncer. <laughs> I don't know. But what that's you, cool, man. That's cool. And that's that's one of the neat things, too, is that um, um, there's so many different outlets out there, you know? There's so many different channels and stuff to be able to... Yeah. Put yeah. your stuff out. I remember I remember when Musical.ly, for anybody out there, back like 2012 or 2013, mm. when that was popular. Yeah. And man, that Jack and ago? I made some stupid videos that are... Do you still have them? <laughs> I think they exist somewhere, I'm sure. I mean, they're probably on my my hard drive, my backup hard drive or something. No, that's cool. Well, um, and, okay, so Barbara said, speaking of Revelers Hall, it's on the west side of Dallas across from the Margaret Hunt bridge <clears throat> well man that's cool i love i, I love that i love hearing those posts about it because our our goal was to open an art gallery studio like a working studio but yeah. it also had an art bar component um and i um george rodrigo i think i gosh i i, I swear my brain today I don't know, but names, but he's the blue dog guy. So if you never, oh. if you've ever heard of the blue dog in yeah. Louisiana, it's a staple. It's awesome. Um, I heard a story. I don't know if this is true, but I heard this years ago, but in his studio, he had couches and things and people could just like down in Louisiana, down in um, New Orleans. It's like I'm singing a song down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. <laughs> there was a, a guy they painted dogs and he did yeah. it in jeans. I don't know. <laughs> you just want a bar that's within like five feet of your canvas is really what you want. Let's be honest. I've almost have that here, you know. Like, well, I mean, we know, have an outside bar and we have the other you bar. You walk like two rooms away. That's absurd. I know it is absurd. <laughs> it's absurd, people. Now, no, what? No, what I want is simply a waitress. <laughs> to also go there and get it. No, um, no, but the the thing that I thought was so cool was that people would just go in there and hang out. Like there was there was couches and things, and it was sort of a place where people. I don't know if this is true. I tried to find that article and I tried to read, you know, but. Uh, he passed away a long time time ago, and you know, I, I can't find it. But ever since then, I had the idea that if that um, I want a studio gallery, but that it would be a place where people would felt felt welcome into, like almost yeah. like it's a home, like you want to go there. Um, and also because in this town, um, and it doesn't have to be in Denton. Like we we've, we've looked all over the place to find the right spot to open it. Um, but um, in this town, there's there's two major universities. There's a lot of arts and stuff, and I think it'd be cool to be able to be able, having students be able to come in and show their artwork and stuff. And the nice thing with the art bar is that um, I didn't want the gallery to have to make its money by selling art. That way, like we didn't have to worry, like you know, like oh, I'm gonna do a show every month or whatever, you know. Right. And this is yeah, I'd be like, hey, why don't why don't why don't we get these artists that have disabilities? Why don't we have these artists that are amazing, that are really cool, um, that nobody really knows about right now, you know, or, and artists without disabilities, but I mean, you know, anybody, but it, that, and have them come in and be able to show and, but not have to worry about them, you know, selling a ton of artwork or anything. Yeah. I mean like, and for them to be able to keep the, you know, yeah. the bulk of it, you know, cause like the gallery takes 50%. Yeah. And we don't well, want 50%. Exactly. And that, and that's, I mean, let's be honest. Gallery is, re it's really hard to make money. It's really hard to make money. Yeah. And right and now it is probably impossible to make money. So, yeah. we've, I mean. We've always done really well with the gallery, but. But that's. Own, I mean, not like, I mean, like a brick and mortar. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we have never owned one, but I mean, right. whenever we sell, like the, our, yeah. uh, the shows, the shows have always sold at least half, half of everything has gone. It's yeah. usually more than that. That's like, if it's half, it, that, that wasn't that great. You yeah. Know. But then we're out. We didn't get, we don't have to pay the bills. Oh, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean as a gallery owner, it's hard. Yes, to, it's oh, oh, I got you. I, I thought you meant for us doing a show in a gallery. Right. No, no, no. I was no. going to say, we, we've been extremely fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunate. And I'm going to, I'm going to knock on wood. 
Um, yeah, because, yeah, so. Well, let me say really fast, um, as we're getting off topic. Um, Gosh, I, I, I've been off topic. I haven't even started painting. I you, you need to get to painting. Why don't, you get to, why don't you paint while I I'm go? Just, I'm enjoying so much chatting. This is so cool. <laughs> Such a talker. Okay, oh. so Owen, <laughs> Owen first said, uh, is that like a city on top of the mountains? And then we were talking about it, and he said, oh, a palace, nice. So, yes, palace. Um, but it's a particular palace, and I swear... I can't pronounce uh, Alhambra. it. Yeah, it's a Spanish. Um, uh, uh, Paul Wooten has joined us and says, looks absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you, Paul. Man, um, um, it's early days, early days. Yeah. Um, um, it's going to... Layers gonna, upon layers. Layers upon layers, yes. Um, so, yeah, it's so many different layers. And I've been, I've been working up... I've never done a perspective quite like this. So I wanted to do something completely new and different for me. And, um, and I knew that that was going to take some time. So... Yeah, so that's, that's that's what I've been working on, and I you know I'm having a lot of fun working on this because, um, it's just a little bit different because the way that the the um here I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off for a sec, um the the way that the the hills are coming down here it's not the way, it, it's it's gonna change in the way that all this like it's all gonna look like this but the colors and stuff are gonna change and all that, so um but this is the the, the geometry but I've never really done it like that and have a pathway coming here and then this because the idea of the palace here. And then um, there's all these trees that they brought in for there, and I wanted to be able to show them, so I, I got to put that in. Anyway, it's um, I'm having a t I'm having a lot of fun working on this because it's a little, but um, yeah, but it needs a lot more work. Um, well, Owen said, uh, speaking of the TikTok earlier, he said it's a goofy Facebook app. I have to admit, but there are some young artists on it, so that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, it's funny with the whole social media. It's like. In, I mean, that can be a giant chunk of the business, so we're always like, what's the next thing? You know, how do we stay on top of it? And then at some point, you're just like, you can't keep up with it all. <laughs> you're just, it's nuts. Well, um, Regina uh, Dorfmeyer has joined us and says, it's beautiful. Oh, well, thank you, Regina. Thank, thank you very um, much. And uh, Kim Tyler says, I'm a visually impaired artist, or at least I'd like to hope I am. I, I, I paint. I love this idea. I also love the idea of doing a paint night with you. That that would be awesome. That would be fun. That would be cool. That would be really cool. You know, it's funny with this this code. That's four that's four non visual artists we've had on the night yeah. so far. So man, four four and counting guys. Um, <laughs> Let's see if we can get more. You know, when I started painting, um, there was one guy in in Turkey that painted, and I didn't know of any other people, and I thought I was out of my mind. You know, to because trying to work out different ways to paint and, and things and and. And uh, I thought I was so crazy, and I never thought there would be a time when you know when uh, when I, I I could be chatting with three other non-visual visual. I mean, we've done workshops, you know, where we've taught you know dozens and dozens and dozens at, at one time. But it's just so cool though, just to, on a random stream, you know, have three other non-visual artists come on. How awesome is that? That's just you yeah, know, that's and pretty cool. man, I, I'm you know tomorrow we're working on a project for the 30 year ADA thing, mm -hmm. and um. I don't know. That just it, it. I feel I feel kind of stoked by that. Like that just makes me so excited because yeah. it's it's so that's so awesome, man. Well, Valerie said uh, there's a place like that in Colorado. Speaking of the um, gallery bar thing, I think you're wanting to open. Oh yeah yeah. Um, it's, uh, it says I think it's called the Accessible Art Project, but don't Ooh. quote me on that. I've only been there once. We'll have to look that up. That sounds really cool. That does sound cool, man. And I love Colorado, and I know, I know, I know that you do. Well, you don't. You like you love certain parts of Colorado. Oh, and um, not the mountaintops, but the. Uh, but the, <laughs> the <laughs> I love all of Colorado. I just don't want to drive it. So that's it. Yeah. Again, it's not happening. <laughs> nope. Not with a fifty-foot rig. That's not happening. Mm, again. Yeah. Ha. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a, was terrible. That was a that was a nice way to entrance your way into mountain driving. Oh my gosh! Having, having a, having oh a fifty gosh. foot rig that wow. you're trying to push up and down the mountains. Not cool. Not cool at all. Uh, well, Regina <laughs> says. <laughs> Regina said five. I am legally blind too. Hey Owen. Oh my gosh. Me. So hey. Man. And then Paul reiterated, looks amazing. Oh. Um. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see, Regina says I used to work at a, I used to work at the Cleveland Site Center um, and was also a client too. Oh, that's cool. So, and Kylie says I'm a visually impaired artist as well. Huge thank you to Aaron Forger's patience. Um, Valerie says sorry that wasn't clear. Yeah, it was about the gallery, right? No, it's 
Thank you. It's I read the sometimes I have to read the comments way later because we're in the middle of yapping about something. <laughs> I can't get John a break. So is that six now? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Five? I don't know. Well, um, Kim forgot. Tyler said I just started a Facebook page if you would like to check it out. Kim Tyler are awesome. Yeah. Is yeah. It, did, did she share it? Share um, it? she told us, but share us the link if you can, and we'll be sure and like it. Yeah, yeah, Kim. Awesome. Yeah, if you, if you could share the link, that way anybody else could click on it and for and, sure and pop and pop over there. That's awesome, man. That's that's really cool. So um, one thing that is, happened this week was, and I don't know if you saw it because I don't know how much of the Star Trek forums you're on. We haven't even talked about the Ford Bronco. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I <laughs> just scared. Uh, um, Star Trek forums. Yes. So they just released the trailer to the Star Trek animated new animated series that they're going to Oh, really? It looks good. Wow. It looks really good. Did you you watch the old animated series, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. But this is like okay, it's not as like racy or weird as um, Futurama or any of those. Uh -huh. But if for anybody out there that ha that watches shows like Gravity Falls, which is a kid show, it's probably like I don't want to say it might even be the same artist, but it's a step up writing wise. It's more adult, so it's still really, still funny and you know you. you it's oh, it's okay funny. For, it's like a funny one? Well, it's it's cartoon, so... Ah. Yeah, but the, the original animated was just like the show. It oh, no, like, no, no, it's not like that. You know, no, it was like... It's, it's a little kiddish. It's a little kiddish. It's, it cool. almost has like a toned down... Um, huh. I wonder if that's going to be good. I mean, it, the trailer looked really good. I'm going to go in with an open mind because, I mean, to be honest, I'm a huge Star Trek fan, but Star Trek does make some of the worst stuff. <laughs> When it comes to movies and things, like I love well, it, you know, I love it. But but you know, but if you're a fan, you, you you can you can also diss it. Like you can say like, wow, that's a long shot of that ship. Well, and this you know, is, it's like a ten minute glory shot of you know the Enterprises or well, whoa, you, you know, know like, oh. they can't all be winners. But. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go so, back into the past and get the whales. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Else. Some people would argue that's one of the best movies. Some people are wrong. <laughs> Some <people> are wrong. <laughs> um. No, but it's like it's it's called um, Star Trek: The Lower Decks. So it's not about oh. like the captain or any of those. It's about all the peons that are just well, like see, rookies. That solved that whole problem. Yeah. Didn't so, it? That's but cool. the the over the top characters that are ridiculous are the bridge crew, and then it's it's just oh, anyway. The trailer, okay. check it out. It's hilarious. Well, that yeah, that's cool. It would, is it going to be on the the CBS Alexis or? I would I think so. Yeah, I think they that own everything sense. now. Well, tell us about this Ford Bronco that you're going to make us buy. Um, <laughs> well, let me say really fast before the, I get lost in these. Um, uh, you, oh, Owen said you need to come to Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, um, you know, I want to say I've been there once, but, well, but it's, it's, so that's been a long time. If we went time. to Cleveland, Ohio, we would have gone to that. If I had gone with you, I would have went to that mu that art museum. Oh, it, well, it was a long time ago. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not. And I, I can't. Know. I honestly can't remember because I know I went to Ohio and I, I went to places. I want to say Cleveland. Yeah. But this was a long. This was years ago. Well, uh, Regina. But says, yes, I need to go back. We have accessible art in Ohio. Also, um, <clears throat> Owen and I won an, an exhibition there. That's cool. Man, um, that's awesome. And Barbara Brand says, and all five of you can probably paint better than me. <laughs> that's why <laughs> I use a camera. <laughs> <laughs> can paint better than me. Oh, Barbara. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and Regina says, my page is on Facebook and Fine Art America. Very cool. Oh, and Owen said, Cleveland Art Museum. Yes, I, I've, I've always wanted to go visit that place. It just seems so cool. Um, uh, let's see. Michael said, creative direction with a winky face. Not sure. I'll have to, I, he might have wrote that earlier when I missed something. Um, Valerie says, I spent three months last year in China teaching English to blind orphans, but got to sneak in some simple art projects on the side. It was a neat experience. That sounds epic. Wow, yeah. That would be awesome. Man. Well, Valerie, if you have like a place where your art exists, like online, share it with us. We would love to check it out. That Yeah, that, that, that would be cool. So, okay. The Ford Bronco. Yeah. Was released today. I'm excited. I'm real excited. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So for anyone that doesn't know, we, we have a, a, a Jeep. It's a four-door um, Jeep. And um, Jackie has the serial numbers of the Enterprise put on the side. Yes. 
Um, so it's, it's nothing else that says Star Trek on it. It's just like the NC. It's just the NCC 1701 across the hood, like how you would see it on. So you know, if you know what that means, you know, then the people go like, oh my gosh. If you're cool, you know what that means. But, you know, so yeah, then, you know, but, um, and she, she loves her Jeep. Yes. Oh, Michael said um, the Star Trek B-movie techniques for above statement. Yeah, so mm. creative. <laughs> yes, very much so. Okay, so, yeah, we're a one-car fan. Well, that's not true. We're, well, I would we, say we're a one-car. We have car a massive work truck to move yeah. paintings and stuff yeah. around. We have a big work truck. But that doesn't count because like it's, a big it's box truck thing. in storage, and we only pull it out when we have to move things. But we're a one-car family. I'm the sole driver. She won't let me drive. So I get, Unfair, to pick, right? I get to pick the car. <laughs> so, that, you know, since you get to drive it, it seems like I ought to get no, to pick it. I've not already picked works. the most logical car. I'm not getting a limo. A li- listen, let's talk about a limo. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I told her no. we would get the hat, the little vest, everything. You, you, no. Mini bar in the back? No. Well, maybe when Jack's old enough to drive. <laughs> Of course, I'm, I, I would be the only one in the back, but you know, um, I'm, we'll we'll have a radio so we can you know chat back and forth. You know, hold on. <laughs> that sounds awesome. No, when Jack's old enough to to drive, we'll revisit this. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll be a, a two car family. We'll have a limo for him to drive <laughs> us around, and then we'll just have my car for when he's off doing whatever teenagers do. Just 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 as an aside, then we can get right back to the Ford. But um, I, I I just. Whenever we were looking to, 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 to buy our work truck on the big box truck thing we have, and um, um, I, lo- I, lo- I looked at limos. We were just looking at, I was looking at all commercial vehicles, and that was just happened to be a thing, so I was listening to that. And, um, and, and they were surprisingly affordable. And I, I was wondering why. I thought, why, why are these big cars, you know, so, so forty like, you know, com- compared to, like, the age and all and the mileage on them? And then I, then I read an ad for one, and it says, and this one doesn't even smell like pee, pee or vomit. <laughs> Oh, gross. Does that mean all these others do? Is that, yeah. is that the thing? <laughs> I mean, why else would you... I yeah, mean, a so, lot of, most of those are for renting. and then Yeah, like party. little par- party cars, I guess. We're not I living the Beverly Hills lifestyle here where we have one. Gosh, yeah. So I thought, ooh. So that kind of killed some of the glitz and glamour um, of it. Not I wasn't really looking thing we would get that, but I was looking well, at all kinds of different vehicles to try and think outside the box. Yeah, you're always trying to give me ideas about vehicles. So okay, Regina says yes. Cleveland rocks art, rocks art possible Ohio on Facebook, is her stuff. Um, mm. and Instagram. Owen said and Instagram. Um, uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Michael said. Um, speaking of the Jeep, he said uh, that he we were together. This this happened a while back, but we were together and he was playing a gig while John was painting for this fundraiser thing together and oh. the Jeep got almost totaled. It got ran into, it was parked and a guy fell asleep at the wheel and just ran into the back of it and right outside the bar that we were doing this gig. So yeah. 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 Just so random. Cause we were, we, it was just a parked car, you know, like, yeah. I mean, the Jeep Thank was just goodness. a parked car. This happened to, you know, and then goodness it was just parked and he ran into it parked and nobody was. In yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So yeah. So I still have that Jeep and What's crazy is it should have been totaled because I went and got tires probably like four years later mm-hmm. or three years later. And um, the guy put the tires on and was like, you know, your frame's bent and mm-hmm. because of that wreck. And they just went ahead and fixed it. So it's just the Jeep has been fun. Um, but you love that Jeep, though. It's um, I love know, my Jeep. I, mean, you, I love it. If you want to spend a lot of money to not have electric door locks and windows <laughs> and things... Those things um, break. That's the way. There, it, it, I, I like it too. It's stylish. It's fun. Um, I am curious about the Bronco. I mean, like, and I, to be honest, okay. I, I don't really care. You know, if, if I can't have a limo, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, as long as long as long as it gets us in the art to point for me. Well, I mean, you did try. You were trying to like convince me to get an Escalade because it's so big and. I guess your seats are cold or something ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I I saw I saw a couple of deals where um, there was a used Escalade. Like, well, like, well, like we can't afford an Escalade, you know, like a. But this was a thing where it was like, you know, they were used yeah. and for the in the um the the safety things and all in it. So it was like it was like some special deal. So it was, you know, it wasn't like you're gonna go out and buy a you know a ninety thousand dollar car or oh, something yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. Like the, you know. And that was the kicker is that 
any of those cars, even like a really souped up nice new Jeep or Jeep, I would have to buy used. Like we, that's that's where our, <laughs> yeah, our our finances are. Well, we're buying like, either a used Escalade or a used Jeep, and we're well, just, yeah. That that was the thing. So like like we were talking at the time about getting a new Jeep. Like what would the cost be? Yeah. And to get a used Jeep, I mean, a, a, a new Jeep, you could go and get a slightly used, really, really, really nice car. Yeah. That's just slightly used, you know? Right. And, and, and I thought, and that still had like a great warranty and all this stuff. And I thought, well, good grief. Give, well, give, give me some dual air zones and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael said in, in response to you not being, being allowed to drive, he said, LOL, hold the wheel for a minute, John. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know what's funny though is that I have driven a boat quite, quite a bit. Like I, I grew up, you know, uh, I go on the lake almost every weekend, and um, and then there for a good while, like when my dad was water skiing, no nobody else could drive the boat, so I would steer the boat, and people would just say straight, you know, because like you know, honestly, when you're in a boat, just don't hit land, you know. So like <laughs> yeah. you know, so if you're in the middle the of the space. lake, you just keep going, and they're like, okay, circle. And then, um, you know, and then you slow down when you're going to pick them up. But it's all, you're not getting close to any them or anybody. So I did yeah. drive a boat some. Yeah. Like you pulling will... a skier. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, yeah. But, I mean, not much. And But it was fun, though, because, like, also out on that lake, there's nobody else out there. It's just us. So yeah. it's just like, you know, you're not going to. It, it'd be like getting going, going out to the desert flats, I think, to drive a car. Yeah. You can just go. And as long as you don't. As long as you stop before you hit a mountain, you're probably good. <laughs> well, Deborah Slater joined us and says hello. Um, and Barbara commented on Regina's um, went and checked her stuff out and said that she liked her sunflowers. Oh, nice. Um, well, hello. And, oh, uh, Valerie says uh, convince her, her being me, to go Google driverless. I don't know what that is. Oh, Google I mean, driverless. I imagine it's, I don't know, I'll have to look it up. But as as crazy as our schedule is, I don't foresee me not having to drive all the time. I mm. don't know. Um, hmm. Valerie says, I have a couple hundred pictures of my art, but I can't get Instagram to upload them all at once. And it doesn't seem um, all that accessible. So I need to find someone si- cited who is willing to sit down and help me upload the lot of them. But I have... Um, posted some of them on Facebook, uh, and I can email you the image of the painting I did. That'd be cool. It's oh. and John's email is bramblet at gmail dot com. Yeah. Um, and we'd love to share it if you're cool with that. Um, oh, and she said random question, but have you ever painted a car? Yes. Yes. I have. I've painted some, um, but you know, I like. I, I I don't think I've ever painted a modern car. Yeah, you painted a race car. Uh, oh, yeah, like an old, old like like specific race car. That was so much fun. And like, um, a very old, uh, Rolls Royce looking one too. Oh yeah, yeah. And an old truck. Yeah. Um, a couple of old trucks. Um, and an old motorcycle, an old Indian. Well, um, oh Kim shared uh her link. So it's on there for anybody that wants to check it out. Um, um, Kylie says, I drove a foot bus in an empty parking lot at a bus rodeo. Oh, cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, and neat. Michael said, you should fly, John. You could totally do that and make a video. Oh. You have flown. I did fly once. Yeah, I, this was nuts. Yeah, yeah. I always wanted Absolutely. to fly, it, fly a plane, so I went and took a flying lesson. Nuts. And... Um, and um, yeah, that that was a lot of fun. But the, the scary thing about it, but when you're in there, it was a, it was a it, you know, it, it's a type of plane. It's almost like a, um, it was like the car that has the two steering wheels. So so the other pilot was there, but there was like a um, a portion where it was just me flying. And he was just telling me what to do. But the the part that I didn't like was that we always stayed within within a thousand feet of the ground. Like I wanted to go way up. Like I wanted to be at like twenty thousand feet or something. Yeah, that's because. Crazy thousand feet you lose that really quick you know you're like you know and you're yeah so you know but that that was a lot of fun i I was definitely sweating bullets after it but um but um why why did i do that because you're out of control sometimes Mm. (laughs) let's be honest (laughs) john this is i think i'm just wondering if i could and oh oh, because i listened to there was a blind pilot in australia Mm -hmm. that flew a long ways and i was thinking oh goodness that i could get um that what i could do is like because i use jaws and nvda and bro you know i use these different software um that i i could just have it tell me how high you are and all that you know and 
Um, because whenever that guy did it, he, he had a co-pilot and they would just re- relay him information. They didn't touch the controls. Yeah. They would just relay information. So I was wondering if it was even, if I could do that, if that was something I could do, if I went up in a plane and somebody was just saying, okay, you're at this altitude, you're going this fast, you know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. And it worked though. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I mean, I always had, had a human there, but. Yeah. Human. <laughs> um, well, oh, Kylie says it was a 40 foot bus. That's that's what she was saying. Oh wow! Um, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's a big. I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want to drive that myself. Um, let's see. Uh, Turn oh, that Tracy thing Markle joined us. Says good evening. Oh, good evening. Uh, Michael said um, amazing. Uh, and Valerie says I read a book once where someone painted a car to look like the Loch Ness monster. That's pretty cool. Ha, huh, cool. Um, and Michael yeah, said I bet that was a thrill. Uh, it was. I think I think you were probably the most relieved. That you landed? Yeah, when we yeah. landed. Oh, yeah, I, did, I didn't land the plane, and I didn't take the plane off. I just flew in the middle. It's yeah. so like the part that, you know, the, the easy part. You know, I didn't, I didn't do any Basically, barrel rolls or anything. It was just sort of like, okay, we're going to fly, and we're, we're, we're going to make a box. Yeah, the thing with this is how this works, is, is John gets a wild hair, and he's like, I can do this, or, he, or it's a thing where he wants to prove that he can do it. And... Even if it's not terribly logical. <laughs> so, you had this enormous, fantastic. <laughs> He's like Mr. Spock. That's illogical. <laughs> hey, does that make me Kirk? Uh, you sure. Yeah, you're as haphazard. Yes. Hmm. So, John had this crazy idea that he wanted to paint the sky, do this massive art project oh, in yeah. the sky, had it mapped out, and was like, I'm going to take flying lessons, and I'm going to be the only person up there, and I am not a f- good flyer. Like, I'll fly, no problem, but I don't like it. I don't think it's normal. <laughs> so it's not something I think you should do on just to do, you know? Imagine it's bones, it's, color in the sky. It's crazy. <laughs> People, I'll be, I'll the be ground curved. is so far down. So yeah. when he was telling me this, you, a lot of times, usually, if John gets wild hair, he, it happens. Like this painting, doing four-story murals. It's uh, I think it's crazy at first, and then all of a sudden, we're on a rig 40 feet in the air. So I was like, well, let's you know see where this goes. I, I wanted to be the supportive wife. So I think your, for your birthday, I bought you one lesson. Yeah, you're so sweet. Just to see how it went. And that was like the last time you did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, like mission well, accomplished. Well, okay. I was looking into the um, the rig though because for to, to put the color and things out and and I was researching the license because if I did it, it seemed like the way for me to be able to do it with it, I, I would have to I would have to get an ultralight to be able to go up there and be able to make it happen and all. And the more that I, I researched it, it seemed like the color probably wouldn't stay. Like like the the way that the for, for the, to do the painting in the air the way that I envision, it would have to be the absolute perfect wind conditions and everything. Like the weather would have to be just perfect. Yeah. You know, and and then it just it didn't it, that didn't really make sense and everything. And then and then and we started getting into the mural, so that was like yeah. a. It's crazy. I thought, well, I'm gonna put that on the back burner because right now that that isn't it's not the working. Way back burner. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because because we figured out like. Um, the color, the smoke that you use, and all that, how to, you know, what what you'd have to get, and all that kind of stuff. And I, I was even looking into they, they sell these computers that um, can almost do like dot 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 matrix. So if you could set it up for that to put out little puffs, you know, you yeah. could almost go out and fly and make a little painting. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. I I didn't really want to do that, but I, I was just looking at different things. Broken and, color in the sky. Yeah. Um. But it was all gonna. But to do a painting, by the time that you got. Through with the first little bit, you're putting out color. Yeah. You would um, it would it'd be wafting around and not, you yeah. know, so it would just it'd be, be a big mess. Yeah. Well, better than better abstract. Than not, it would just know. be an abstract painting, which is cool. Mm. Love me some abstract, but that's not what I was wanting to go for. Well, Barbara um, said, "Who asked for the Instagram help, and is she in Dallas?" Um, Valerie was the one that that was talking about Instagram, and I I don't know, Valerie, let us know where you're from. Um. I don't think it's Dallas, though. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. Um, oh, uh, Kylie says, my dad was the president of the bus company at the time. Oh, nice. So that's cool. Uh, and then uh, Kim Tyler says, just um, FYI, Zipline is a bad idea as a visually impaired person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I wonder why. Let us know why. That's Because I want a Zipline, and it would be something I would drag him to. Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would do it. Like Heights don't really 
bug me and the idea. You need to know when to kind of slow, like when to like oh, slow that down. Would be a you thing. just like if it's not a, a zip line that now yeah, you have your you have <laughs> zipping through. Right into like the that would yeah, suck. That's that's, um, that's an excellent thought. I, I never thought of that. <laughs> Uh, Michael says, John operates heavy machinery. Um, and then Tracy said, operates machine machinery better than I can. Oh, so you guys yeah, are you sweet. Do you but... operate the heavy machinery? Um, slowly. Let's see. And Barbara Brand says, Jackie, if God would have intended you to fly, he would have given you wings. See, <laughs> I agree. It's crazy. <laughs> I am not, not good with flying. It's not good. Anyway. Oh, you're, you're so much better. Well, I, I have no problem. You really afraid. And... I, I mean, I usually have to like... You know, go get a, you know, go to the bar for a second, you know, before we get on. <laughs> like, well, you know, it's it's uh, kind of nice. Like whenever whenever we, we we travel and we go do gigs and stuff, um, we both always like to get to the airport really early because, um, and and also sometimes traveling with a guide dog and stuff, you just want to make sure you get through security and you have plenty of time. Yeah. And we don't have to. We don't want to have to rush for a flight or anything. Yeah, you know? I like getting to the airport early. I yeah, you know, you, yeah, you just check your bags and you know, you know, you just sit there for a while. And that's that's yeah. fine, you know, and or you know, it, and we usually go 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 get a drink and um, which is nice because you've driven to the airport, you've gone through security, you've done all that stuff, and then you just get a chance to relax before you get on the plane. Yeah. And that's sort of become our, our thing because you don't like to fly and and um, you know, and right. so it's nice you just like relax for a bit and then, boop. boop. Well, you know, I didn't show the picture of the Bronco for everybody out there. Oh, yeah, you should do that. I'm gonna, okay, this is the oh, new... Oh, here. Um, are you showing it? No, but... Oh, okay. So, um... I, th- I think it's on this screen. Okay, they released the Bronco, obviously, today. They, they, they've been building up. It's a big to-do. They haven't made a Bronco since, I think, 96. And, it, you know, it's a fan-favorite car. It's finally another rugged-looking SUV, SUV that... Every other SUV out there is bulbous and it looks like a soccer mom's car, and I can't handle it. Just so, don't get a white one, because that just sounds like I don't know. I, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't get a white one. But so um, here, let me show you guys. A I bet it gets dirty so quick. Anyway. Okay, so this is a picture of what the Bronco looks like with all four doors off, and going down a dirt road, and it's. <laughs> it, <laughs> like a, a lot of, I like the way you say that. <laughs> going down a dirt road. And it also. I think its stock wheels are 37 inch. That's bigger than the, the wheels on my on my Jeep. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think the wheel the wheels on my Jeep I think are 33s. I don't know they're pretty Cause big. Because the tall the biggest I could technically get were 31 without signing a waiver. Mmm. So, yeah, to sign a waiver. Huh? Yeah, because they were like that's ridiculous. They, they didn't fit the frame. I just was like I'm not gonna do really sharp turns. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, so yeah, if, we, if we if we need to turn around and go and go the other way, then people will just wait for it. <laughs> we do eleven point turns instead. <laughs> <laughs> two degrees, two degrees, two degrees, two degrees. <laughs> hey man, that's it? the price you pay for big fat tires. <laughs> anyway. Well, that sounds cool. Um, yeah. Really, so. What sort of amenities like? Is there a dual zone? Is there? I mean, it probably has like. Is I mean, a robot it definitely. Butler. What's going on butler. here? Butler. It's got a hat for the driver. Mm. Um, <laughs> Shiny hat. I don't know if it necessarily has like the heated seats or any of that. Probably not. I think not. they've I mean, probably put that. You oh know, yeah, I don't even want. It. Yeah. Well, I mean, anyway, so I don't. I don't quite know because I, I like twenty minutes before we logged on, I was looking at it, so I don't know. That's I just cool. know that it's, you know, you can get a seven, uh, seven speed manual. That's pretty interesting. Wow. Um, it's supposed wow. to be like. If you're an off-roader, it's supposed to, like, beat out the Jeep Wrangler, like, tremendously, which is mm-hmm. going to be interesting. Anyway, so... We've this, only put the Jeep in four-wheel drive once, haven't we? Like, yeah, during the ice, ice storm? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not a big off-roader. I mean, we carry a lot of, um, you know, lake equipment. We might have that. Like, I have yeah. a big bar, roll bar on my Jeep, but... Oh, that'd be nice. Does it come with a roll bar stuff? Or? No, because I well, it would depending on what you got, but I'd get a mm. soft top. So either way, I'm. Oh, we're baby, back when let's look into hard tops this no, time. No, Just look. No. I mean, we'll look. No, we'll no, look because they me. pop off. But um, but it might be that the that we you know might. Well, we can look. We can look. You know, imagine having a conversation while on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have no... <laughs> talking to, to people in the car is overrated. Believe me, it's overrated. It, it's funny though, like for for business thing or for if we're going somewhere and and then it, you know, like if we're doing a business thing, we're we're in, we're in the jeep and we got to call somebody. Like, oh, you know, how you know we can't find it. How do we get there? And they're like, what? We usually have to stop and pull over because just. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm 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 okay with it. I mean, I mean, the only time it gets annoying is when Jack will try to talk and and he has to yell. But it, you know, it's not such a bad thing to just chill and and not have an enormous like giant conversation in the car. Well, <laughs> just listen to music, people. Well, when you're happy, I'm happy. So oh, thanks, you know, babe. Well, uh, well, Kim says yes. Zipline takes understanding of speed and movement. LOL. Learned the hard way. Ouch. So yeah. Um. Oh, and Michael <laughs> said, um, not the OJ license plate. Yes. For the Bronco. We, yeah. We won't. We won't be getting. That's why I was thinking a white. Yeah. Don't get a white one. Yeah. Um. And then he said, good looking truck. Um. And then Tracy says, I think white hides the dirt better on my white Corolla. Um, and mm. uh, <laughs> Michael said, Rosie's for, Rosie from the Jetsons is, is a passenger. So that'd be a pretty sweet amenity. That would be. You know you know what I was thinking? <laughs> if you got if you got one, if you could pick the interior color, um, we should bring in we'll, – well, we'll, I'll have Eagle with us. We, just, we should have the, um, them match her fur color. Oh gosh, for real. That way, that way, when she sheds in the jeep, it'll just be it'll just be adding to we the. We would abnots. definitely get like one of those full-on dog covers. That yeah, it would have to be crazy. Well, Tanya Locke has joined us and says hello, John and Jackie. Um, well, hello. Great to see you guys again. Your painting looks amazing. You rock. Oh, um, thank you. So. Well, thank is- you, thank you. Um, I have a lot more to show you guys on Thursday on this one, and um. Um, yeah, the next two days are going to be crazy filled. We're I'm building these canvas panels that are 10 feet tall, and I've got a, I don't know if you know I have a little brace on my elbow. I I thought you know, like I know what 10 feet is and all, and this and the the painting is going to be 10 feet tall by 24 feet wide. Yeah, and it's going to be made a series of of these panels, and um, so constructing the panels now, and um, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, we were in Texas, so it was like 104 degrees yesterday. So, I mean, like, there was a point, I mean, granted, we were rethinking some things, but there was a point yesterday where it was like, no, 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 not going to work outside. <laughs> yeah. just don't even want to walk out. You don't even want to walk out to get something out of your car. It's just so hot. Fortunately, um, whenever it comes time, hopefully next week when I start painting it, um, I don't need light to paint. Oh, yeah. So I can always do it at night. Yes. Which is nice. Yeah, that'll be really good, so... That's why the blind painters will take over the world eventually. There you go. We can at work at night when everyone else is sleeping. At least in the southern <laughs> we region. We can we can plan and, and, and make make all of our <laughs> machinations or machinations. There you go. Well, um, uh, Tony says you're very welcome, and um, my mom joins us. Says great show. Oh, Owen thank you, Mary. says great seeing your live stream again. Um, and then wow, that's hot. Yeah. Oh, that's good hot. luck tomorrow with your shoes. By the way, gonna get some new. Oh, shoes. my mom. Yeah, I was taking her to go get new shoes. Um, oh, and Owen said, do you have to use a ladder for the thing? Yes. Um, yes. So, um, oh, and Jackie hasn't learned this yet, but, um. What did you do? No, I haven't done anything yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you can have a Bronco. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so for these, for these giant, um, panels, um, to, in order to cut them, like we, we have saws and stuff, but I was going to get some saw horses. We have a couple, but I wanted one that will match this, this table saw that's out there. Because um, to on, honestly, like it's a blind person like cutting stuff using power saws and stuff. It sounds very, very dangerous. But the ones that we have, though, it's it, it's actually a little bit safer than if you're using like a rip saw or th- something because you can get everything set up, then turn it on, and then it just cuts it. You know, like a miter saw and stuff. So then, you know, it's hands off and all. Um, so that's so that's with that. But the um, saw horses, though, that I was looking at, we could get maybe pick, pick up tomorrow or whenever we go get the wood. Um, it can hold twelve hundred pounds, mm-hmm. and you can make a table with it. So I was thinking that we we can make a little platform to be able to stand on oh. to to make a, a, a scaffolding for okay. it. Okay, cool. As long as I don't gain, you know. And a thousand pounds, we should be good. <laughs> I so. lose like fifty pounds real fast, but okay. No, it's twelve hundred pounds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, wait. So, well, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So, so, so I think that'd be really okay. nice though because it's 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 they're compact, um, and that's one of the things like we don't do a lot of woodwork. I used to build all of my stretchers because when I first started painting, I I my per, my perception or perspective that's the word I'm trying to think of my perspective was off. 
So I might have an 18 by 24 inch canvas, but the drawing that I was going to do might, might be for a 20 by 24 canvas, you know, so it wouldn't work. Over, over the years, I learned to get my perspective better, you know, so now I can get a pre-made canvas and be able to paint on it and have the perspective match it. But in the beginning, though, it was like I would use raw canvas, then I would cut it out, you know, it's like I do the drawing and then, okay, so that's the size of this painting and then cut it out and stretch it. But I would have to build a custom stretcher because, you know, who knew what size the, the drawing was going to be. Yeah. So for all those paintings from that, that period are handmade stretchers because they had to be. Um, so we have the woodworking equipment and stuff from, from that period. And, um, and that's what we're using now. I don't know. I'm off on a tangent. But, um, well, um, uh, what you just answered, but Kim asked, do you typically stretch your own canvases or just this really big one? Oh yeah. Just, just every, every once in a while, some, sometimes we'll work on flat canvas and I'll have to stretch that. Yeah. If it's a real awkward size that you can't buy typically, then yeah, you, we definitely. Yeah. And, and there's, and there's definitely an art to stretching canvas to building stretchers and, um, you know, there, there's ways to do it on this one. It's going to be a big mural. So we're actually doing it so that the back of the mural or the back of the canvas is actually going to, going to, going to have a, um, a support board that's going up against it. You know how most, most canvases are, are like this one, their gallery stripes are really nice. Like this is a really nice canvas. Like it's super sweet. Um, but it doesn't have a backing board because they don't need it, you know, in there, but because, um, this one canvas, this giant mural, is going to be where, where people can walk by it. It's going to have a support right right underneath, right behind the canvas, so that if anybody bumps into it, it's not going to poke a hole in the canvas. So there's different things you can do with them, and you know, and one of the fun parts about stretching on canvas is that you can change the grit on the um, the the surface. So if you buy pre-stretched canvases, they almost always have a medium sort of gesso. It's that white stuff that's on the canvas. It gives the, it a tooth. But if you gesso your own, you can get, you make it really rough. You can make it really thin. You can make it like paper, where it's like glass. And there's a technique to do that. I ought to, I ought to, I ought to, shoot, I ought to do that one day. Yeah. So it's so cool. But it's, it's, it feels really weird because it's canvas, but it feels like glass. Um, but, you know. Yeah. Well, Sorry, cool. I'm just, I, I guess I'm rambling on, guys. I apologize. Well, Tracy says this sounds awesome. And um, Valerie says, I used a few different saws in my 3D design class. It was fun. I did have an assistant, but she let me do most of the work. Just helped me with the measurements because the tool wasn't blind friendly. That is awesome. You know, the reason cool. I started cutting my own stretchers, like I had a handsaw to do to do the miting cut, the mitering, to make it. And I did that. And it was so la labor intensive, you know, to, to make a stretcher. And um, But then I had a friend at the time. Um, he didn't live in, you know, like it was a... Um, he lived way away, but he, but he did um, fine carpentry. Like he, he built like cabinets and all kinds of things, but really exquisite detail. And he was completely blind and um, he passed away, unfortunately. But, um, but he gave me the, I don't know, like the, the idea that, that maybe you can do it. So, so the type of cuts and the type of stuff that I do is the most simple. It's the most simple you could possibly do. You know, it's the easiest sort of thing. You know, there's no fineness to it at all. Um, but, um, you know, compared to someone like that, that really knew what they were doing and they, you know, for mine, for me, when I do it, I, safety is number one and, you know, and getting the job done, you there know, you, have it. you know, cause the stuff that I do, whenever I, I, I make a stretcher, no one's going to see the wood, you know, it's not going to be a perfect cabinetry right. finish. It doesn't need to be gotcha. doggone it. It'll stay together. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Super glue. Um, well, Tracy says, giving me some ideas for my massive puzzle I'm working on. Going to need at least a 10 by 25 foot space to put the whole 10 sections together. Oh. Sounds like one of those big puzzles that that are like, my, my friend Nancy's really into puzzles and I've joked in getting her that one that spans an entire room and I bet it's, I bet it's that, that puzzle. Wow. I want to say that it's like each one is like of an animal scene and then you can put them all together and it makes wow. this enormous wall. That's crazy. Thing. That's going, that's, that's pretty that's am nuts. amazing. Well, my darling, uh, it's getting late. Um, yep. I, I actually, and I don't want this to be a grilling show, but um, ever since I got a grill, like the smoker <laughs> grill, I've been using Priorities. it. And, uh, and there's actually tonight, 
what it, during the show I've I've had a um, a skirt stick that's on the smoker it's being smoked yeah. with some onions and bell peppers. Well, I'm surprised the boy hasn't you know eaten his way through the door. Oh my goodness! Well, so. well, right 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 after the stream, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it to fire like set set the fire up. Cool. And just grill it up, and then everything will be done, and then well, yum 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 yum. Um, well, awesome. Well, um, Tex Mex fajitas. Nice. Well, that sounds great. My mom says thanks for the good luck wishes with the. Doctor tomorrow. Oh, um, it'll, it'll go great, Ben. The Don is awesome. And uh, Tanya says thank you, guys, as always. Yum. Oh well, thank you guys so much for joining us. And um, in Thursday, I don't know what we're doing on Thursday. We're gonna be out in the heat making giant stretchers, and I'm gonna be doing a video for the 8830 thing uh, or a painting for them in um, for New York. Um, or, anyway, we'll, we'll we'll talk more about that on Thursday and stuff, but. Mostly, have a great week, guys, and we'll and we'll catch you before the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really fast. Um, and Kim Taylor says, I'm, I may have missed it this, but did you say what inspired this painting? Is it a real place? Yes, yes. So, so this is actually a commission, and um, and I, I don't know if we're we'll say names or anything. So, I yeah, I always, always, always hesitate. You know, I'm saying names, but it is a commission, and it is a real place in Spain. It's a palace. And um, I want to say Al Alhambra, but I, I I'm gonna look up the pronunciation because um, Jaws and all that isn't always right. Like you know, sometimes it'll it'll give me a name of something. And um, I'm usually pretty good with Spanish, but I want to make sure it's right. But this is an actual place, and um, it has a couple walking through there, you know, to commemorate a moment. And I'm having the best time working on this. It's got a different perspective than I've used, um, it, putting color in in a little bit of a different way, and um, I don't know. It's it's been it's 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 been a lot of fun. You know, it's nice when you can work on something that's a, that's a, a challenge. So, you know, and if I'm loving that. But thanks for asking, by the way. <laughs> well, Kim said uh, thanks. Michael says uh, I have a song or two. I'm going to in um, instrumental for you to use. Oh, awesome! Man. Oh man, that's really sweet. Thanks. Well, um, thank you. And Kylie says, good night, guys. See you Thursday. Mm -hmm. Valerie said, just sent you an email. Thanks for sharing with us. So. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much, man. And and thanks, and thanks, Michael. That's man, I can't I can't wait to listen yeah, to that. Yeah, I'm curious. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So subscribe, like us, share us. Yeah. Join us on Thursday. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Thanks.